Yo, 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 what's up for you guys? Mike here, your host in Mix TV. For those who watched my last video, my take on the Jordan 34s, thanks for watching. And for those who haven't, please check them out on my channel. And then before we proceed to another review, not, sorry, not a review, but my take. All right, um, I would like to request for everyone to actually like, share, and hit the subscribe button to get more access to my videos and probably some of my upcoming videos. So right. we're going to be talking about my take on the Stephen Curry 7 shoe. Yes, you got it right. The Chinese New Year Curry 7s. Um, when I did the Puma Clyde uh, review, unboxing, as well as the Jordan 34s, I was asked to uh, do a take on some of a point guard shoe that I think would be very good for point guards. And shout out to all of my point guard friends uh, out there. So keep balling and keep doing your thing. I envy you because I'm not a point guard. I suck at dribbling and how I wish oh, I had no. my talents. But <laughs> let's get on with the shoe. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the Curry 7 Chinese New Year Edition. You can see there's like a flowers design on, on the back heel of the shoe. And honestly speaking, I was having second thoughts of copying the shoe before because it was expensive. And uh, I passed on, I passed up on the Curry 6s. Good thing because there was a lot of issues with that shoe. So I wouldn't recommend for anyone of you guys to cop Curry 6s because of the problems with the sole. So it's tearing apart. In fact, oh, no. when I went to the shop to check it out, there are a couple of shoes from national players here in Malaysia. They, they send back the shoes because it's all tearing apart. And that was a really bad, bad quality of the product. But in this shoe, the, the, the sole is quite, quite durable and way better than the one that's Curry 6s. All right, so before we proceed, um, let's talk about the traction on these bad boys. All right, so the traction obviously has somewhat of some herringbone traction in it. The quality, the rubber compound that is in the shoe is quite durable. As you can see, you can feel it, you can grab it, it holds, it sticks up to the floor. I've used this several wow. times in my games and it's it, it really um, holds you down to the floor. It squeaks, the, the sound, the grip, it's very, very good. Wow. And I really love this because um, there's no slippage in this shoe, even if it's outdoor or indoors. So for those who are, um, who runs really fast, those point guards, those players that um, runs fast breaks, chase people on defense, this will, this will hold you down and keep you grounded. And it's very flat. That's why I like this uh, Curry 7 shoes. As, as you can see, um, the design of the traction is actually meant for those who are doing a lot of slipping and doing some crossing, you know, hessies and fakes. Wow. Uh, like, um, of course, Steph Curry. Luka Doncic wore this once before he decided to go with the Jordan brand. But he was testing this. He's also a great point guard. Um, hats off to him. Um, of course, Steph Curry and then Damian Lee and a couple more uh, players that's actually using this. And I would suggest this to all point guards, real point guards, um, because this is, is a shoe that is meant for you guys. So I just uh, feel that there's not much ankle support on this one. That's why I don't know why Curry, Steph Curry actually chose to have this kind of shoe because he always have ankle problems. Right? So I was expecting for him to continue with the Curry 5s, high cuts, uh, but that uh, that shoe's a bit, a bit flimsy uh, for my uh, on my own view. I don't know about the others, but I had two of those, and uh, yeah, and I got them from the U.S. So 
This was the Chinese New Year. The, the, the traction is really good. It's really amazing. It holds you down to the core. I've said that several times because it does so. The, the compound is durable and it's quite stiff. So that's what I kind of noticed with this guy, this shoe. All right, so that's for the traction. Um, let's talk about the size. So the size, I went through the size and you should too because if you like the shoe fitting uh, exactly. exactly fitting your feet <laughs> go through to size all right and it's it's narrow it's narrow it's narrow footed I'm narrow footed so it's narrow so it's perfectly fine for me and and even if you wore a thick socks or a thin socks it it's fine you can always strap it in uh, tighter with, with the laces and the shoelaces and it will it will be just perfectly fine for you. So true to size, uh, there's no other way to go. If you're a wide footer, probably would go half a size higher, but I doubt that that's gonna be a problem. All right. So the third one is the design. All right. So the problem I'm having with this design, the design is fine, the colorway, um, how it's uh, how everything was put together. But the materials, there's not much textile in this shoe. So it's more majority is um, fused. As you can see all around, it's fused. Uh, some leathery stuff here on, on, on the upper, uh, on the back end of the shoe and on the top as well. And then some knit on top, on, on the front fore, forefoot. But the problem here for me is the, what do you call that? This, uh, it's not breathable enough. So sometimes, your feet get so warm inside. But other than that, the whole design is okay, actually. I, I like the design, uh, the color. There's other colorways that came out with this, and the others are very striking. This is very, very simple. I like the gold plate, the gold plate, all right? The shoelaces are fine. Um, of course, the, the flower because of the Chinese New Year design. And the padding is actually way, way better than than the previous curves. So this one, as you can see, uh, it's well padded around the, wow. the, the heel, the heel. All right. But there's no padding on the on this on the lip. There's not much padding here. So that's kind of a, a bummer. But oh no. Yeah. So the design is quite okay. Uh, it's just that, like what I said, it's not breathable enough. Uh, unlike com compared to the KD fives, um, uh, air goes through it, through through the design because it's all fully knit because of the infinite technologies they have. But this shoe, since it's all fused, majority is fused. There's not much air that goes goes in and goes out. But that's just my view. I don't know about you guys. Those for those who who to um, worn this in game, let try this on. Let me know your thoughts comment down below all right so and then so we then talk about uh, the cushioning all right so if you're a rebounder if you're a big guy you, you play low post and you're a wide footer cushioning on this is not really good I was surprised because everyone was like talking about it because this is the only shoe that would have hover technology and micro G together but when you put it on you would feel that the cushioning is not that much actually she was expecting uh, more cushioning but apparently not okay so the hover G I'm uh, sorry the hover actually sits on top of this TPU uh, gold plate uh, design of the shoe which is very very thin it's not really that that thick of cushioning that would you expect for a hover but the Micro G as well is not that soft too. So compared to the other cushioning that um, I've reviewed, uh, reviewed previously, uh, GT5, the, the Puma Clyde, and even the Jordan 34s. This one, since this is meant for point guards, I guess, I think that's what, I, that's what they were thinking when they designed the shoe, is the guards are not supposed to do rebounds a lot. So I guess if you're gonna be wearing it and you're a big guy and you're gonna be, um, you know, crashing the boards. Uh, be careful because there's no first, there's no ankle support. There's no ankle support at all. Second, cushioning is not really that good. 
so uh, it, it's very stiff and uh, it's very hard actually and uh, if you put it on I mean it's still okay it's soft enough for a point guard a point guard will always usually be smaller than those people who crashes the board but cushioning is not really that good on this shoe so that's a bit of uh, uh, a setback there for, in my on my view but for me I don't rebound much I just run up and down you know and the only thing I need is the traction the brakes which really works perfectly for me so cushioning not that good for rebounders but expect good traction on this shoe all around all right a bit this bit of disappointment on the hover and the micro G because they were like combined uh, cushioning technology of Under Armour, but it didn't really work uh, as expected oh, no. for this shoe. But other than that, overall, I would recommend this. Highly recommend this for point guards, um, especially those who have sick handles that can do fakes and hessies and you know break ankles for their opponents. You can do all those things with this shoe. All right, and. Um, I think what sets it apart is that uh, it's basically tailor-made for Steph Curry, right? So I don't know. I mean, that's just. I mean, that's just me. And I'm totally confused with this. I don't know what this is for. But I mean, it looks like a spaceship. But <laughs> I don't know what this is for. What, what's the function of this? But it looks cool. Enough. And I've heard he's gonna he's gonna be coming out with his own brand. Just like uh, the Jordan brand, he will be having his own brand, brand Curry brand, if I'm not mistaken. I've, s I've seen leaks and pictures of that shoe. I don't know if that's the final design, but even the logo uh, looks like something like this. I don't know what this is, maybe it's 3 or 3 zero or I don't know. But uh, let's just wait and see. Alright, so... And lastly, for the price, it's, it sells for 140 bucks. So if you buy it abroad, you probably should consider the shipping cost and all those other things. But if you buy it here, I think, and here in Malaysia, it's around 700 ringgit plus. I don't know about it in, in, in uh, the Philippines. So um, do check it out. I think they're putting it on sale already. Those old colorways, they're putting it on sale. And the one thing that I really liked also was the Cabbage Patch Kids, the colorway. I think it's neon green and neon orange. Uh, sometimes Damian Lee and um, Steph Curry, even Seth Curry wore, it, wore that in-game with two different colors, orange and green. So, nice colors. Uh, he's into that kind of stuff. He had a, co he had a shoe before, an Under Armour shoe as well. Uh, it's called Candy Rain. Yeah, so it's all green with a lot of uh, confetti designs on the shoe. I have that one as well, but it's I, it's kept some wow. in the box. I don't know. But yeah, so overall, I would recommend this to all point guards, point guard wannabes, and um, killer point guards around there, right? And then if you're not into crashing boards, a uh, cushion will not help you out really for this shoe. You might consider other shoes that has better cushioning. Um, just to note before I end this video, um, if you guys heard about Kobe Proto 5 that's coming, that's gonna be releasing next time, um, anytime soon, there's like five colorways, and those are also something that you might want to consider as shoes for point guards. It's really nice, the designs are really cool. Uh, I'm just gonna show some, some pictures here in this video, but I was wow. I am really liking the white and the light blue combo as well as the I forgot the uh, the, the design though it's it's the what if protos Kobe 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 5 protos what if so there's the shoe that has 11 colors in it that represents uh, 12 colors in it that represents 12 teams that pass them up in the draft so I'll be showing that picture here so if you can cop any one of those shoes that would be awesome because the fact that you're paying homage to Kobe Bryant, the shoes are amazing. So if I get a chance to get them as well, I probably would cop them. I think it, they, they, they sell for 180 uh, US dollars. Oh no! And I think you can find them in sneakers app. 
but of course people who use this pot will definitely cop all of those and then sell it for a higher price but if you get lucky hey. get them get one of them that's really amazing it's really cool and I would, I would want to get one though but who knows all right so I mean that's the end of my video and that's the end of my take to curry seven under armor curry sevens uh, this probably the, this, this probably will be the last pair of the curries curry line is gonna be like a new curry brand that's gonna be coming out for Under Armour I don't know when but uh, some some news are saying that there's gonna be a new curry brand for Under Armour so maybe so thank you guys um if you've liked this video please do like share and hit that subscribe button and for, don't forget to to watch my other videos and uh, please do comment down below if you have anything if you want to add on this video or if you have any shout outs let me know i will uh, do them in the next video and uh, so, i'll see you again on the next video take care stay at home follow protocol and let's help heal the world all right see you bye